everyone. I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I'm in Bangkok, Thailand. And one of the top questions I get asked is what are my favorite Thai dishes? And so today we're going on a Thai food tour. I'm going to share with you five of the best of my favorite ultimate Thai foods. I'm meeting up with my friend Greg from Trevisio. He's going to fill. He's actually the one filming now. Huge thank you to Greg. We're going to eat some incredibly good food. And yeah, we're going to share it all with you in this video right now. All right, so we're gonna eat our first dish right now. And actually, before we even get to the restaurant, the restaurant's around the corner. But I met the owner here. This is some of the behind the scenes. This is where they're preparing the braised beef. Oh, look at those giant pots of beef. She's slicing up the beef here. Oh, she's about to add in all the cilantro, all the all the coriander. Oh, that smells so good. The aromas, you can smell the Chinese spices, the star anise. Another thing that's very important is the, the coriander roots. The, in Thai, it's called rat pak shi, which are, it gives so much flavor to the broth. I'm so hungry now. Yes, there it is. Awesome. There it is. That is the, the male organ. Okay, so we've moved over now. This is, so they're cooking the beef in the back, but at the front of the restaurant, here is where the eternal cauldron, bubbling, juicy pot of braised beef is living. Okay, so she's fixing our fire pot. Uh, she adds in some pak bung, which is the morning glory. Then I got with everything, so that's gonna be mixed with the organs. There's some uh, lung and liver and tripe in there. This over here, Greg, is the, the nubai. That is the braised beef. Oh, and, and, and this is the tendon. Oh, those lumpy, beautiful, jiggly bits. And his side, this is the intestines. It smells so good. So she's gonna fish out a selection of the beef, put it into the fire pot. Oh, and then final step is that garlic. I'm extremely hungry now. My mouth juices are flowing. Lung kap? Kodu sai tan, dai mai kap? Dai kap, Grabbing some of the charcoal that's gonna go in our fire pot. Oh, and you can see the can you see the blower over there? That's gonna blow it from the bottom so that it heats the charcoal even hotter so flame comes out the top. Yes. Greg, you gotta get yourself on camera saying that, man. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. This one pride. And here it is. This is one of my favorite dishes in Bangkok. But it, it's called, so that's the braised beef, but it is a nuamofai, which is the fire pot of braised beef. It's, it's a beautiful thing. One of the most beautiful things in the world. You can just see that garlic float, whole cloves of garlic like floating around there. Here's the, the, the cilantro roots. I gotta just taste that broth first. Wow, that is unbelievable. It's so fragrant. You can taste the garlic in there. You taste all those Chinese spices, the star anise, the cinnamon. Oh, that's ultimate umami. But now I gotta mix my sauce. Okay, so what you do for your sauce, prick bone, which is dry chili flakes, go in. This is vinegar, chili vinegar. But I might hit that with just a little bit of fish sauce, just to bump up the, bump up the flavor. Let's try to get one of those good, oh, Okay, for my first bite of beef, you can see everything is in here uh, from the tendon to the, to the tripe to the meatballs. I'm gonna get one of those pieces of braised beef on this first bite though. So fish that out and actually I will dip it into the sauce. Just let that kind of scoop up. Beef. Oh, it's so soft and tender. Oh, it's so good. And then you chase that with rice. The owner just walked in and gave us a whole plate of tendon. Now tendon, this is one of the prized pieces. It's not fat, this is all tendon. Just jiggly chunks of beautifulness. 
I gotta have a bite of that immediately. Just let that soak in there. Wow, tendon. Wow. Greg, you gotta taste that, man. I'm ready. That melts in your mouth. It just slides down. You don't even need to chew. <laughs> that tendon, man. And what's up? What? 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 That's so good. This is one of my favorite dishes to eat in Bangkok, one of my top Thai foods. Uh, but we have a lot more to eat today, so let's move on to the next dish. The next dish that we're eating is called Pad Gapao, and it is one of the best Thai dishes. It's a dish that everybody loves. It's one of those dishes that you would be very happy to eat every day of your life. And the spot where that we're going to, it's right across the street. Let's go. section right here on the corner but we're gonna go talk to Lung who is the uncle who's making it. So Adikab Lung. Oh, here goes in the minced pork. Oh, and that is a, a generous amount of oil or lard that goes in there. He's, oh, he actually shallow fries that. But I ordered a dish uh, called Padgapao Musap. Uh, so it is minced pork stir fried with holy basil. This is one of the, it's one of the top comfort foods of Thailand. If you ask any Thai person what they would like to eat as like a deep meal that they come back to Thailand to eat, this would be the dish. So he fries the minced pork first uh, in a lot of oil, then drains it. Now he's tossing in the chilies and garlic. And those are, oh man, the fragrance of that garlic immediately. A handful of chopped long beans. And then the final step, the final ingredient is that, that toss, that's the holy basil right there. He adds in a little bit of broth. <laughs> Oh, a little bit of dark soy sauce goes in there. A little bit of sugar. Oh man, you see that sizzling away? <laughs> it smells so good. My bit, my again. You can smell. Can you smell those chili beans, Greg? <laughs> and that goes right onto your plate of rice. Oh, this came out of the wok literally about 10 seconds ago. She walks it over here, out of the wok, onto the rice, walks it to your table. You can smell the peppery aroma of that basil. I got the kai dao on top, which is mandatory. Well, I mean, you could order it without the, the, the fried egg, but believe me, you're gonna want the fried egg. Yeah, it's mandatory, it's mandatory. You can smell the garlic. Okay, for my first bite here, uh, yeah, I'm just going straight in. I'm just going straight in for that egg. And the egg, you can see it's kind of crispy on the sides, but we'll look at that yolk. Oh, that's also another another food sensation that never gets old, breaking yolks. Okay, I'm gonna grab a bite, get a little bit of everything. You can see how that yolk has just melted into the mixed pork. You can even see the whole just chunky cloves of garlic. Oh yeah. Oh, it's so awesomely good. You've got, yeah, the peppery basil. It's so garlicky. You've got that chili heat, and what you notice is just how freshly stir-fried it is, you know? I mean, that's right out of the wok. It's still hot, and his, his unique touch is where he actually deep-fries the meat and then drains it, so it almost has a crunchy, like, edge to it. Wow, that's good. Let me get another bite. Oh. It's perfect. You could not want anything else on a single plate of food. Mm. One more thing I forgot, and it's essential when you eat this dish. And that is priknampla, which is fish sauce and chilies. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this bite count. 
A little bit of fish sauce on there, a, a good dollop of sliced chilies with the egg, with the basil. Oh, wow. That even bumps up the flavor. Mmm. Yeah. Uncle knows what he's doing when it comes to Pad Pao. He has just perfected his recipe. Just walking down the street and we stumbled into a lady who's selling kanambuang, which is a very popular and very good Thai sweet snack. It's like a little crepe uh, that she fries on the hot plate and then she adds in some meringue and then you get your choice of topping. But the one we really like is called foi tong, which is the, the yellow egg yolk candy. So we got it here. That's candied egg yolk uh, strands, the meringue in there and all wrapped up in a little crispy wafer. Right. It's crispy, it's sweet. Got that like egg white kind of flavor to it. And then that sweet, like rich um, egg yolk candy. Great sweet snack. We're at the next stall now, and this is just a small little typical Isan stall serving Isan food, which is food from the northeastern region of Thailand. Uh, this is a great little spot, and I'm about to order the dish. Okay, come. Tambu Bala, come. I ordered a dish, it's called tambu bala, which is, it's a green papaya salad with fermented fish sauce, uh, spicy, oh look at a whole handful of chilies. She adds in a whole handful of chilies, a little bit of, uh, a little bit of salt in there and to, to get it pounding, and then she's gonna pound up all those chilies right now. She adds in just a tiny little bit of palm sugar. And here it is, this is the, the bala, this is the fermented fish sauce right here. This is the good stuff, that's the flavor. Oh yeah, and you can smell that, that cheesiness. Oh, it smells so good. This is a Lao olive, which also adds some crazy flavor. Chinese long beans go in. She squeezes in the lime, but also she puts in the entire lime too, and she's gonna kind of pound that up so it gets all mixed in and gushy. And here comes in the green papaya. That's shredded green papaya, and that's the crab. That's the bull right there. That's the crab, the little patty crab. She's gonna mix also some thumb sap, which is a, it's a Isan soup. Okay, so we got a few assorted dishes because you can't come to a little stall like this and just get one dish. But the main dish on this list, one of my favorite dishes is tambu bala, which is green papaya salad. Uh, you can see that murky fish sauce, that's the bala. You've got the crab in here, that's the bu. Um, you've got tomatoes in here and something that also is cool, you can notice something, something you gotta notice is that the shreds of green papaya, they're all, she, she chops it up with a knife, just chops, 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 and then slices it off rather than using a grater. So you can see how all the, the shreds of papaya are all in different sizes. Let me just get a good bite of this real fast. Oh man, that looks and smells incredible. Oh, oh the dribble. Oh. Mm. It's so much flavor. It's such a depth of flavor. It's so complex. And then you've got that crunch of the green papaya. It's sour, it's citrusy, it's spicy, it's fishy, it's everything. Then what you do is you take sticky rice, which is called pao niao. Um, you can make a, little, make a little ball. And what you do is then you dip it into the, into the juice. That completes it. That is, yeah, it's spectacular. That's the dressing. We got some soup no mai, which is a bamboo shoot mixed salad, and some also some lab, which is a minced, this is a minced pork uh, version. There's some skin in here. There's some minced pork. There's some dried chili. She adds in some lime. Yeah, this is just a good dish too. Mmm, mmm. The dried chili's in there. That's, that just, it has a smoky taste. Grab a little ball of sticky rice, dip that in. Oh, fantastic. 
We've eaten three of my absolute favorite Thai dishes in Bangkok. So good, and there's two more to go. I uh, have some very, very exciting, very mouth-watering dishes to come, so let's go to the next spot. I didn't even mention this to you, but we're eating all five of these dishes in one day. So it's a packed day. We're moving from place to place. We drove over now to Bangkapi, and this is where the next restaurant is. This is one of the best Southern Thai restaurants in Bangkok. It's called Jan Hom, and we're gonna eat a Southern Thai dish that's just, it's mind-blowingly flavorful. I'm always excited to come eat here, even after eating three meals already. We're gonna grab this table all the way in the corner here because it looks cool. Look at these giant wooden booths. This is just a huge wooden table. Oh, hi, Ying. Hello. <laughs> okay, this is not the main dish, but this is another delicious dish that's rolling up, that's coming right now, which is the fried fish. It's called Batad Kamin, which is the fried fish uh, with turmeric, and it comes with a sauce. This is delicious, check that out. We also got some Malinja leaves stir-fried with egg. Uh, we also got, this is another one of my absolute favorite dishes in the entire world called Gung Pan Sata, which is uh, shrimp stir-fried with stink beans. And you can see all that shrimp paste in there, a lot of shrimp paste in there, you can smell the aroma. Oh, it's coming right now, the main dish, the main curry that we came here to eat. Oh yes. Oh, there, there it is. There is the Geng Tai Pla, which is, it is a curry, a Southern Thai curry, uh, flavored with fish viscera, the, like a fermented fish entrails, the insides of a fish. And if you can take a good look at that, there's chunks of fish in there. There's the, that is that beautiful dark color. There's pumpkin in there. There's uh, eggplant. There's lots of kaffir lime leaves. There's the pea eggplant pieces of grilled fish as well, and that's just that intense, intense curry liquid. Oh, I gotta put some of this on my rice immediately. You stick this onto your rice, add a little bit more of that curry gravy. Oh, this is fresh right out of the pot. Oh, oh. oh it's hot. Mm. No doubt, one of my favorite dishes in Thailand. It's such a, such a like potent flavor. It's so sharply salty that you can also taste the smokiness of the fish in there. You've got the little pea eggplants that just sort of, they sort of pop, explode in your mouth with that, that those like seeds. And then you've got the creamy pumpkin. One of the greatest dishes of Thailand, Southern Thai. Oh. Mm-hmm. It's hot. <laughs> it's so hot. That was a big bite. Next dish is the stink beans with the, the shrimp. And you can see there's some chilies in here and you can see that pink color, which is all from the, the shrimp paste, which is like krill paste. That's a beauty. And actually, I'm just going straight in for this bite without even going to the rice. Oh, oh wow. Mm -hmm. That shrimp, it's perfectly cooked. It's so meaty and succulent. Then you've got, there's onions in there actually, which give it some sweetness. And the stink beans. I mean, as far, I love Geng Tai Pla, but as far as single ingredients go, stink beans, Sata, that is one of my favorite ingredients of the entire world. Okay, the fish. And I think this is called Basai, which are sand fish, deep fried. You can see this is all turmeric and garlic. And actually, fully deep fried. You can even eat the entire head. I'm just gonna eat this like a, like a fry. <laughs> this sauce, by the way, is award-winning. There's garlic in there, there's chilies, it's vinegary. Just kind of let that head soak. Oh. oh, that sauce. And you can eat the whole head. It's crispy all the way through. The, the turmeric almost gives it kind of a mustardy taste. It's awesome. Awesome. And finished with the melinjo leaves. They have some of the best texture of any leaf and have a nutty taste to them. Okay, we're rolling. Dude, I'm Greg excited. and Pam. 
Greg and Pam behind the scenes. I'm like, get the sauce inside the fish head. Yes. <laughs> yep. I'm going to cheat a little bit. Yep. You want to drown it. Right in there. There we go. <laughs> yes. All right. I gotta say, to all those people that think Mark's faking it when he does his face, it's because you've never eaten food like this. <laughs> you can't not like, like, oh, have a little moment to yourself. It's emotional. When you eat stuff like this. We made it. This is the last restaurant and it was about an hour to get here. So it's, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you straight. This restaurant is way off the beaten path. It is only for the serious food lovers. Even Thais, like it's really the, the, the guys that are hardcore for food come to this spot. And at the moment, this is one of my favorite restaurants in Bangkok. And this is where we're gonna eat the final dish on this list of five of my favorite Thai dishes. Let's go inside, let's order this dish. I cannot wait. Let's sit over on this side over here. You walk into this restaurant and it's like, I, I like it almost has like a barn feel to it. It's like this really old house, high house, wooden house. It's beautiful actually. It's the perfect setting to, to just have a feast. Okay, this is the restaurant. It's called Pla Menam, which actually means river fish. So they specialize in river fish. Most of the dishes on their menu are river fish, uh, but then they just, the chilies are fiery. The chili pastes just explode in your mouth. Sitting down for the final meal, and I could not be happier in my life at this very moment. They're so cool back in the kitchen. The chef, he is a master at spicy Thai dishes. And again, at this restaurant, you can't go wrong on the menu. You, everything is incredibly delicious. And there was, and although we're focusing on the main dish as the top five, my favorite dishes, there was no way we could not order a whole table full of food, so we did. But the main dish, it's called Geng Pa in Thai, which directly translates to jungle curry. And so it is a curry, it's a water-based curry, but it's called jungle curry because it makes use of lots of wild herbs and just jungle ingredients that you might find just foraging around. Uh, in order to make this, he boils some water and then he put in like a, not, not just a spoonful, but like a spatula dollop full of chili paste, which is, it, it is literally like just pure solid chilies, uh, which he dissolves and, and a, a mix of herbs and spices, which are pounded into a paste. So all the flavors are released. That's pounded in a mortar and pestle. So all the flavors are just completely maximized. Even the chili oil is, uh, is exposed and he dissolves that into the water. And then in the meantime, they have a plate with all the ingredients, the fish, the, um, the finger root, which is also a very important ingredient, kind of gingery, uh, some of the long beans, some of the different eggplants. He tosses that in into the, the cauldron with the bubbling chili paste. And that just boils away for a little bit. And finally, when the dishes, everything is cooked, when the fish is cooked, he tosses in a handful of gapa, which is holy basil, which is what we ate earlier today. That finishes it off, and you don't want to cook that very long, so it just tosses it in, turns off the gas, dishes it into the bowl, and that is it. That is, this is one of my, okay, everything we've eaten today is one of my favorite dishes in Thailand, but this, this is, it's beyond spectacular. It's a life-changing dish. This is my ultimate favorite dish in Thailand. So I'm gonna grab a bite of the, the fish, and this is all freshwater fish. So I don't, in, in, in um, actually in, in Thai it's called Bama. I'm not totally sure what the, what the English version is, but I'm gonna get everything on this bite. Um, yeah, and you know, like I do have rice, but I'm not even gonna touch the rice on this bite. You can just see the herbs just exploding and just seeds, like chili seeds throughout, just folded through everything. Oh wow, that's just like, it's literally, it's liquid chili, but with infused with herbs. And there's so much basil in there, or the basil has such a wonderful pungency that it almost like, you can almost feel your tongue tingling a little bit. 
Okay, this one is the pad pet, which is basically just a chili stir fry. It's actually kind of similar to the jungle curry, just in stir fried format. Um, a little less soup. And there's green peppercorns in here too. This is another, just one of my favorite dishes as well. I'm gonna stick this onto the rice. It is beyond stunning. Okay, next dish here. This is uh, deer, which is stir fried with black pepper. Um, in, in Thai, it's called Guang Pad Pik Tai Dam. So we got some deer here, slices of deer. There's some onions in there, there's some peppers. And he literally, he tossed in like, it was not, it was not just a tablespoon. That was like a, a mountain tab tablespoon of black pepper into this single dish. There's a lot of pepper. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Like, you don't even need to, like, second guess yourself. That is just pure pepper. Another dish that's famous here is their kadman, which is the, the fried fish cakes. And these are like, these are literally like burger size and they are just, they are bouncy. You wanna give this a little bit of a dip. You gotta see the interiors of this. That's just like pure fish sponge. And it's all 100% fish and chili paste. It's so good. Mm. We have completed five of my favorite, five of the best Thai dishes. This has been one of the most amazing Thai food days of my life. How was, how was the day, Greg? <laughs> Can't speak. No words. Too amazing. Too good. So we began with the braised beef. Yeah. Uh, we moved on to the pad gapa, which is the holy basil mm -hmm. stir fry. Then we had the samtam bubala, which is the green papaya salad with fermented fish sauce. Then we had, oh, the southern Thai food, the gang Thai pla, which is the, the, that curry, that whole southern and Thai meal. And my favorite side yes, dish. Yes, malinjo leaves. Malinjo leaves, wow. And then finishing off with the gang pa, the jungle curry, one of the greatest dishes. That's just straight up liquid <laughs> fire. And what a meal to end with. But the entire day, I mean, for me, I cannot choose a favorite dish because those are my favorite dishes. Uh, but that's just, a, that's just a sample. You know, there's so many. The, the best thing about Thai food in Thailand is that there's so many dishes. Um, and this is just, I, I gotta say, like my favorite dish depends At on the, the mood. Yep. Yeah. At the but moment. But these are five, five of my favorite dishes. Greg, what was your favorite dish of the day? Definitely, I would say, oh, the fried fish that we had, the Southern Thai fried fish. Oh, yes. That was amazing. The sauce that came with it, that was incredible. Plus the oh, yes. melinja leaves. And with the fried egg and the, oh, yeah, I'd have to go with those. Those were the two things that for me just like, amazing. Awesome. This was, this was pretty incredible. I still can't feel my mouth, which is kind of cool, but yeah. So this was all really good. Yeah. I, I can't, it's hard. You can't choose a favorite. Right. You can't choose a favorite. But thank you so much for letting me into your favorites of the time. Mm. I have such a different understanding of Thai food now. Like, absolutely cool. incredible. This is a dream come true for me. Like, I've wanted to eat with you for as long as I can remember. Like, years, dude. <laughs> yeah. I've been following you for years. And always said, I want to eat with Mark Weens. So, thank you so much. Cool. Mark. I really thank appreciate you. It. Thank you, man. And I want to say a huge thank you to Greg and Pam uh, from Travisio. Uh, Greg, they, they make amazing cinematic travel videos. I'll have all their links in the description box below. Check out Greg and Pam. And yeah, that was just so much fun to eat with you good. all day today. Thank you so much, man. That so, was great. well, that wraps up the five best Thai dishes. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below. We'd love to hear from you. And, and if thing. you're not already subscribed, click subscribe, click that little bell icon so that you get notified of the next video that I publish. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Ciao. Ha <laughs> ha